Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the Boover Crew. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to raise a herd of steers on a pasture coming up. So the first thing you wanna do, usually you wanna have a piece of land that you can fence in to call a pasture. As you can see here, we have a big area of pasture and it goes down here and it goes way down far there. We have some fence in here because we have grass growing in it. What pasture does is it provides plenty of nutrients and grass and food for the animals. If the animals, in this case the steers, did not have any food or hay to graze on at their leisure, you know, they would never get to that targeted weight that the grower wants. And the reason we raise steers is to grow them for beef. If you ever had a McDonald's hamburger or any burger or steak, cheese steaks oh if you that's that's where it comes from that is a beef beef animal and it all starts right here how's it going you also want your pasture to be at the right size in this case one steer beef steer typically needs about an acre to an acre and a half of grass to live on and that's usually just one animal. In this case we have a couple. We have one, two, three, four, five, six way down there and there's a calf peeking its head up right there. We have seven head here on this pasture. Well actually two pastures because there's a second pasture that goes down there and it is a pretty good chunk of land enough to sustain these animals. Hello guy. Here on our farm to keep our pasture at the right stage and the right health and have the amount of nutrients that we want, we mow it and fertilize it occasionally. Mowing it prevents it from growing into head. And when I say growing into head, it grows up, 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 tall enough to where that top part is really, really stemmy and it has a little head of like a bunch of seeds. If you know what foxtail is, that's one of them. Right here we have grasses that are growing into head. This is the head right here. It's stemmy up here, and these are the seeds. The reason we mow this is to keep it down like this, nice, lush, and green. This whole pasture was mowed last week, last Saturday, and it is looking really nice. And what mowing it does is when we mow it down, it takes the heads off, and it grows up, grows up better, gets a better stand, and the steers have much more to feed on. Steers also need water. On our farm, we have two pastures. Each pasture has a watering hole. This watering hole is right off the main pasture, as you can see. A little wooded area. And the fence just juts out right into this small area where the steers can come and get their water. Also in our pastures, we have plenty of wooded area, which provides shade on those hot summer days. A few of these steers have been on this pasture for nearly a year. And as you can see, they're starting to fill out pretty good. Here on our farm, we also have a secondary form of shelter. This barn provides shelter from rain, storms, even wind, and also allows us to corral steers in here. A couple gates in here you see can be moved in multiple ways to corral steers into the chute that we built. The chute comes in very handy when loading steers onto a trailer. If not, this would be a very difficult process. Like it was the first time that we ever tried to load steers. The steers also have a secondary source of food, more of a solid food. Here we have big square bales made of alfalfa and orchard grass, which provides a perfect diet for the steers. And finally, the ground that you see here is where the steers can bed and poop. The manure taken from this corral area is then put into this pile, and this pile is then used for whatever we need it for.
have a water pump ready and standing by. So I hope you guys found today's video helpful and informational. If you're ever wanting to start a beef farm or, or even just raise one steer, um, I hope you found this helpful. And if you ever want any more how-tos on raising animals, comment down below and we'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.